think we've become extremely used to being consumers of energy. If we look at the rapid pace of modern day life, we're all driving around in our cars, using our buses and trains. We want to keep the lights on, so we're using electricity generated by fossil fuels. So we don't really understand how much fuel we're consuming. And I think it's time for us to pause. Step back and think where it's coming from, what the impacts are, and not necessarily slowing down that rate of progression, but just finding an alternative means of feeding that rate of progression with green fuels. If we need green fuels to fuel industry at scale, we need to work together. The move towards renewable energies has had reasonable momentum in the world for a number of years already. But there are certain specific sectors which are traditionally extremely hard to abate. Aviation is one of the most challenging sectors to decarbonize because it requires fuels of high energy density but also high volume density. So the iShift partners are all bringing specific pieces of technology, understanding, skills and experience to the table. Our partner Inatrog are experienced in developing renewable energy projects that renewable energy will then be fed into an electrolyzer plant supplied by Linda, bringing our engineering equipment supply and EPC capabilities to the table. Producing the hydrogen through the electrolyzer, that will then be fed into the Sassel process, where the green hydrogen will be combined with the carbon source through the FT process, producing then the e-kerosene as a finished product at the end of the day. Sasol's unique advantage is that we have licensed technology and existing assets that we can use to produce e-kerosene. Currently, we convert coal and natural gas into synthesis gas. We're replacing that fossil fuel base with a green renewables base and we're harnessing the solar and wind resources that we have in abundance to give that green electrons to feed into a traditional system. And it's going to be a national collaboration, it's going to be a global collaboration. We need to marry technologies that are in use in Europe with technologies that are in use in South Africa and we can produce cleaner green fuels. There's been a global shift to a more cleaner, sustainable energy production, and that will exercise itself in South Africa as a country as well. We now have a political willingness. We see industry ready for action, so I'm very optimistic about what can be done. Imagine a world where you can travel, see friends and family without leaving such a heavy carbon footprint on the environment. Ecoresin is an important first step towards more climate compatible flying. It's within our grasp. This is something that truly we now can influence. We can see the future. We, can, we understand how it needs to fit together. What we need now is to have the fortitude to push through, have it implemented in a way that we can leverage off of that base, learn from it and truly scale up. The possibilities are enormous and we have a mature renewables market now. I think it's ready for the country to elevate itself to the next level and be a global contributor to clean fuel and sustainable living.